I want to say this about him tonight. When he first came to our class, we start with three-year-olds, and the three-year-olds are so afraid sometimes to let go of their moms, and when they come to class, they cry, or they want us to take them back downstairs, or I want my mom, you know? But as they come for maybe three or four weeks, they begin to learn how to sit. And they begin to learn how to learn. And when Blake first came to our class, he was so, um, he was a baby. <laughs> he was a baby. He, he, um, he just wanted his way about everything. And he has grown so much. If there was an outstanding award tonight, I would give it to Blake. I would definitely give it to him because he has definitely developed. Um, every Sunday, he comes in class and he, I said, well, what are we going to talk about this week? But his story is Noah. Yeah. So tonight, we are presenting Noah. Okay, so this is our Noah. And he's going to help us. He's, this is his story tonight. So he's going to take a few minutes and tell you his story. So tonight, we're presenting Noah. 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 Yes, Lord. I want you to build an ark. Yes, Lord. Okay, now Noah, he built this boat for 120 years. Now his boat is all ready. So Noah, so Noah, who's going to get in this ark? Who's going in the ark? God and his family and the animals and Noah. Okay. God, his family, and Noah. How many nights did it rain, Mr. Noah? Forty nights and forty days and forty nights. Okay. So now it's raining for forty days and forty nights, Mr. Noah. And what's going on with this boat as it's raining? Uh, it's, rock it's rocking. <laughs> and all of a sudden, Mr. Noah, all of a sudden the boat does stop. Okay. It stops. Okay. So now the boat stops. Who goes outside of the boat, Mr. Noah? Uh, the bird. Okay. Now, once the bird goes outside of the boat, Mr. Noah, what does he bring back? An olive branch. Okay. So he brings back this olive branch, Mr. Noah. So, what does that mean? Uh, dry land. It's dry land out there, thanks. Okay, so that's dry land. So once it's dry land out there, what does that mean, Mr. Noah? Uh, they can get out. Get out. So they get out of the boat, right? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So they're all out of the boat, and the Lord takes a and throws it in the sky. What does he put up there? A rainbow. A rainbow. Okay. And what does that mean? You never flood the earth again. So that is called a? The, a promise of God. Very good. We thank God for Noah tonight. And who was Joseph's father? Jacob. Jacob. And how many brothers, excuse me, Moses, and Noah. How many brothers did, Jake, did Joseph have? Eleven. He had Adam. eleven brothers. 
this. So, they threw him in the well, right? So they went back and told his father. What did they tell his father? What else did they tell his father? The animals ate him. The animals ate him. him. So they told a lie. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, we must tell the truth. So they told a lie. A lie. A lie. So they told a lie. <laughs> and so, what did they put on Joseph's coat? Blood. They put blood on his coat. And why, Ali, come here. Why did they put, why, why did Joseph give him that coat? Because he loved him. Because he loved him. Ali, can you say Genesis 37 and 3? Genesis 37 and 3. Now Israel loved Joseph more than Anshin because he was the old age. He was the son. Of an old age, and he made a coat of many colors. He made a coat of many colors very well. Thank you, thank you. Okay, this is what we do in our class. Okay, um, let's talk about David a little bit. Want to talk about David? Yeah. Let's talk about David. Who was David? A shepherd boy. He was a shepherd boy. And what does a shepherd boy do? Take care of the sheep. He takes care of the sheep. So, what happened? Who wanted to, who wanted to fight? Who did David want to fight? David! Goliath! Goliath. And Goliath was, was Goliath a little boy? No, he was a big, big giant. He was a giant. So that meant that he was huge, right? Really, really huge. Really, really huge.
when he had that little straw. So he threw him off the ship, and then what happened? The big whale, and he tried to swim away from him. Okay, so did the whale eat Jonah? No, he yes. swallowed him. He swallowed him. No, Sister Ella, he did not eat him up. He swallowed him. And how many days did he stay in his belly? Three days and three nights. Three days and three nights. But then he told God he would do what? Go to Nineveh. And what was he going to do in Nineveh? Pray. Pray. Oh, he said, I'll go there and preach to them. Yes, he did. So he went to where? To Nineveh. He went to Nineveh. Okay, we thank the Lord for this portion, and we'll start our little skit. So this is what your children learn in Sunday school. Okay, this is what we teach in Sunday school. We teach our children there. We teach them to learn at three years old. They can learn, and we appreciate I am introducing to you tonight, Hayden Hampton, this is Moses. And I am introducing you tonight, this is Ali, okay, Ali, Ali Coates, and this is our Pharaoh tonight, okay? So, all right, let's get started. Moses. Yes. Moses. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Moses, I need you to go to King Pharaoh. And you tell King Pharaoh that God said to let my people go. You see on the way. On the way to see King Pharaoh, Moses, he saw a burning bush. And this struck his attention. It struck his attention. Why is this bush burning? Why is this bush burning and it's not on fire? So that was the first thing that he saw along his way. But the Lord had gave him specific instructions to go and tell King Pharaoh to let his people go. The Lord said to let God's people go, King Pharaoh. No! <laughs> How many plagues were there, children? Ten. ten. There were ten plagues. The first plague that the Lord sent. Well, no. The second plague that the Lord sent was frogs. The Lord sent the second plague, and it was frogs. And he covered the grounds, and he covered the lands with the frogs. The Lord said, I let God's people go, King Pharaoh. No! 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 <laughs> the third plague that the Lord sent was lice. He put lice upon the face of the earth. That is the third plague. The Lord said, let God's people go, King Pharaoh. No! No! Yes! No! The fourth plague that the Lord sent was flies. Flies swam the land. He sent the flies 
Oh, but Pharaoh's heart was hard, and he wouldn't let God's people go. Come, come Moses. The Lord said, let God's people go, King Pharaoh. No. Oh, Pharaoh still said no. The fifth plague that the Lord sent was the cattle of Moraine. All the animals, they got so sick and diseased. Oh, but Pharaoh wouldn't let God's people go. Stop it. The Lord said, let God's people go. King Pharaoh, no. Oh, Pharaoh still wouldn't let God's people go. So, the Lord sent the sixth plague. The sixth plague was boils. All oh, the boils covered their bodies in sores. And they still wouldn't let God's people go. The Lord said, let God's people go, King Pharaoh. No! no. Oh, Pharaoh still said. No, Moses. <coughs> I the seventh plague that the Lord sent, he sent hail from the heavens, and he still. Get us that go. He sent hail. Come on. Good job, in the middle. Yeah. 
Moses, <laughs> what are we going to do? Take Moses. Take Moses. Take Moses. Take Moses. 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 Yes, God. Be quiet so we can hear what God is saying. We have to hear what God is saying. Moses, stretch out your rod. Stretch out your rod, Moses. Stretch it out. The wind began to blow. Stretch out your rod. The water came apart. And the wind blew all. Get us across, Moses. Get us across, Moses. Get us on dry ground. Thank the Lord, thank the Lord, thank the Lord, thank the Lord. All right, Moses, Moses, the Egyptians are coming, Moses. What are you going to do? Moses, what are we going to do? Here comes the Egyptians. They're going to get us. What are we going to do? Stretch out that rod. Amen. Close that water back.